I'm aware of 55 babies that have been born. In fact, the 55th baby was born last weekend. Yeah, um, I, I've been involved personally, and in, of the women I've helped, 26 have had their babies. One more is due in the in the near future. It'll be 27, but other doctors are involved as well. So overall, uh, I'm aware of 55 that have been born. Uh, that's a small number when you take into account that since 2012 in the United States, more than 4,500 babies have been born uh, over the last 10, 11 years. Um, as a result of the abortion pill reversal service, when their mothers regretted taking the first abortion pill and, and came to help uh, to, to seek help with progesterone treatment. In the UK, it's, there's, a, there's a real lack of awareness. In the United States, it's, it's a very, uh, there, there is a great awareness. In fact, in some states, it's even mandatory that any woman who is undergoing a medical-induced abortion, a chemically-induced abortion, has to be informed that there is an option if she changes her mind to receive um, progesterone treatment which might help in some cases to, to save the baby. Uh, that doesn't happen in this country, in fact there's strong opposition to it. So there is a great need to create awareness. There's also a great need to counteract the lies because unfortunately, and we know this from the women who have come to us, they are being actively told by the abortion providers at BPAS MSI that they may have heard of um, a thing called abortion pill reversal but they're warned that it doesn't work, it's dangerous, um, uh, there's no point in doing it. So we have to try and counteract those lies because we know, first of all, it's safe and we know that it's off, more often than not effective. It's not always effective, but in the UK, our success rate is just over 50%. That's compared to less than 20% of babies who would survive if the mother didn't take the second pill but didn't receive progesterone treatment. So we can more than double the survival rate by, by just offering simple, safe treatment with progesterone. Yeah, so, you know, lives are at stake. And not only the, not only the lives of the babies, but also the, the women themselves, because even the... Even the, the cases where the treatment hasn't worked and the baby has still died despite the, the mother trying her best, they are so grateful that somebody at least tried to help them. Because in, in all cases, in all cases, they always go back initially to the abortion provider and say, I've changed my mind, I want to save my baby, and they're told nothing you can do or you just have to put up with it or just wait and see what happens. So, and, and most of them probably take that advice. But by coming to us, we can more than, more than double the survival rate and mothers are so grateful even in the, the sad cases where the treatment hasn't worked. It's very difficult to understand. You would think pro-choice, you know, choice should be in all areas including the decision to not go ahead with the abortion but for some reason that um, there is a strong opposition to what we're doing even though we know it's safe. Progesterone has been around, used in pregnancy for a, a number of different reasons for more than 60 years and we know it's safe. We know it doesn't do the baby any harm if the baby survives. Um, I think the only clue we have is from one of the strong opponents to um, abortion reversal in the United States, Daniel Grossman. In the early days, he was asked that very specific question, oh, what's wrong with this abortion reversal? Is it the treatment? He said, oh, no, 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 it's nothing to do with the treatment. It's, it's the rhetoric. It's the rhetoric. This, this belief that the, the anti-choice people are trying to put out there, that women change their minds. So it's, 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 it's a threat to them. Because uh, we, we are, the, I suppose, the proof that women do change their mind. Not, not all, but some do change their mind. Because then if they accept that, yeah, okay, some women change their mind, then the question has to be asked, well, why are they changing their mind? And I've no doubt the reason for that is because they're not being given proper counselling. They're not being told exactly what abortion is. If they knew exactly what abortion was doing to their child, I think the vast majority of, of mothers wouldn't go ahead with it. So they're not being given proper uh, information and the consent that they give to whatever method of abortion they undergo is, you know, is not valid. So, the, so most of the abortions in this country are being performed without proper information being given to the mother, so they're you know, invalid consent. It's a constant theme of the pro-life movement, but science is on our side. Absolutely, yeah, science is on our side. You know, life begins at conception, there's no, there's no doubt whatsoever about that. Um, we're as human now, at this stage of my life, as I was when I was a teenager, as I was when I was a toddler, as I was as a neonate, and as I was as a, a prenatal uh, human being from the moment of, of fertilization, that's when that's when life begins. And you know, most of the honest pro-choice, pro-abortion people will accept that. So, some don't, but science is on our side.